Hello, Gear Simon of designcourse.com. Today, I'm going to be designing a real basic emblem, and this is going to be for the upcoming designcourse.com premium order page. All right, so I want to make sure that this design is consistent with the current designcourse.com visual identity, and so that means it's going to be simplistic, and I'm going to be using Adobe Illustrator to do this, and it's going to be pretty straightforward and simple. All right, so I've included the DC letter mark logo, the design course logo, uh, in the project files if you wish to follow along. All right, let's get started. All right, so the area that I want to put kind of this emblem will be right here to the right of the billing information section. Uh, and so this is at 100%, of course. And so it'll just occupy maybe half of this available space. And so <clears throat> I basically screenshot it here in Photoshop. So I'm going to switch back to Illustrator. And I have the design course logo already open. I've included that in the project files if for some reason you want to follow it along. Uh, so I'm going to go file new 860 by 600. That works well for this current resolution. And RGB here. Now we're dealing with anything that's going to be printed. So hit OK. Control 1 will get us to 100%. And control V to paste that in. All right, so very simple. So because we're dealing with uh, it's sort of like an emblem logo or icon, we're going to use the ellipse. So just coming near the center, hold Shift and Alt, left click and drag. All right, so now what I want to do is get rid of the fill. So you just click on here. You can't see because it it's off screen, but if you go to the left, you'll see a red slash. That gets rid of the fill. And then the stroke, we're going to make black. All right, and then turn the stroke up. Just a couple notches. I'm going to take everything. Well, just for now, I'm going to leave it larger. It's not going to actually be the size. It's going to be smaller. But just so you guys can see it, I'm going to leave it at this size. I'm just going to make this black as well. Okay, so... Now what I want to do is I'm going to make this uh, this one quite a bit larger actually by holding shift and alt and left clicking and dragging and then I'm going to duplicate it so control C control F hold shift and alt bring it down maybe right around this size right there take the type tool hold alt and left click you'll see how it changes the icon when you hold uh, hit the alt key this is where the satisfaction text is going to be put so I have the caps lock on, sat, satisfaction, and I'm going to do change. If I select the move tool, I'm going to use a font that I bought. I like it a lot called Trade Gothic. And, you know, you, you don't necessarily have to use this. Uh, and I'm going to come up maybe to a size right around here. And then also I'm going to click on character right here and then the letter spacing the tracking on set to something like around 400 something real spaced out here just so it has good legibility all right so i'm going to leave that there for now and then what i want to do is hit control c control f that will replicate it and i want to you can see down here there's this little uh line that's kind of coming or emitting from the ellipse if you left click and then drag that inwards you could see how it will take this text down here and put it to the inside or align it to the inside of the ellipse so that's what we want and then we can rotate it down here and then double click and then over here put guaranteed just like that very simple now the problem with that is when you align to the center it uh, doesn't align with the white space on the outer portion compared to the top text so what you want to do is just select it and hold shift and alt and left click and drag and get the top portion of the path lining to the top of the text all right so that way it now aligns. Now one issue with that is, is it also increases the t font size of the guaranteed. So if you click on this, it's an easy, even 22 points uh, for the satisfaction text. So we click back to this, and as you can see, it's 24.8, so just hit 22. And now we have everything lined up with the same font size and good to go. All right, so now what I wanna do is take our 
line or ellipse out here. Control C and Control F. And hold Shift and Alt and bring this one down right around there. And we're going to take the uh, size down to 2. Control C, Control F, the outer one again, right around in the center of the text. All right, so now what we want to do is hit stroke and specify dash line. And we'll try something around 12 points for the dash here. Yeah, that'll work pretty good. All right, and so now we have to get rid of the stuff that's you know overlapping or the text. So all we have to do is go select it and go to Object, Path, and Outline Stroke. So now it converts it to an outline. And then all we have to do, and this will require a little bit of adjustment, so that's not that big of a deal, is with the Move tool, left click and just uh, right up to the upper left a little bit. Uh, and just select only the portions, the dashes that you want to delete. Now, of course, this will select everything else. So what you can do is if you find an area between up here, between the actual uh, dashes, like right here, hold shift, left click and drag. You will now deselect all the other layers. Oops, I forgot about something. Uh, this by default, these dashes are grouped up into a group. So if you click on it, right click, you can specify release, compound path. We can now select them individually. So let's do that again. Select them all and come out in the middle. Hold shift. There we go. So now just delete. All right. And luckily for me, the spacing looks pretty even between the side of the N and the S between the first dashes. Uh, if yours isn't, I'll show you how to fix that. So. Do the same thing at the bottom here. Select these. Yeah, we will have to make some adjustments. That's no problem. Hold Shift. Oops, that's going to right there. Yeah, now if you didn't select it, one second. I'm going to back up here. Oh, crap. Redo, redo. There we go. Okay, so now what we want to do is uh, we can see that there's a lot of sp there's a lot more space between this guard or guaranteed here guard and uh, this part and compared to up here. So what we can do is let me hit Control One first of all to get to 100%. Let's group all those again. So I want to select pretty much everything. And then we'll take this. So well, let me. Uh, there we go, and deselect that. Now, just once you have everything uh, selected, hit Control G. And then I want to make an adjustment here uh, on the guaranteed text, and just move it over slightly or rotate it like that. And then what I want to do is I want to make sure that. The space between here and here is equal to the space between here and here. And so there's more down here than there is up there. So what we can do is select the satisfaction text and we can bring in the tracking a little bit. So we'll try 350 instead of 400 and then rotate it like that. So you could do that uh, until you have everything, you know, looking how you want it to. So for me, I think that is pretty good right there. Uh, so what I'll do is take everything and I, I'll group it. Control G, come out here in our layers. Where did my layers go? Oh, right there in front of my face. All right, and so we have this grouped up. Um, go ahead and oops. Control C and Control F that real quick. Hide that one. That way we'll have uh, one with all the text layers uh, in an editable type of layer. So what we'll do now is take everything of the one that we duplicated and hit Control Shift O and that'll convert to outlines and then go also object path and outline stroke. So now everything is on a path. And so we can see that it works pretty well as I, this will probably be around the size that I use, I think. So what we can do is just uh, 
control C and copy that and switch back to Photoshop and let me zoom out a little bit control V is a smart object and I think yeah that's probably a pretty good size right there so you definitely want white space and there we go so this is just a satisfaction guaranteed I think I'm gonna leave it all black maybe I'll change it to blue or maybe just this portion of blue I uh, and then to the right, I'm going to have uh, just maybe one sentence kind of describing a 30-day money-back guarantee policy or something like that. Anyhow, yeah, I thought you guys would be interested in seeing uh, how I designed this. Pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, though, you know, this technique can be used, you know, when it comes to creating the circular texts and stuff uh, in Illustrator. It's definitely handy for a lot of different purposes, including logo design. So, all right, uh, check out designcourse.com. This is going to be ready very soon, Design Course Premium. So, yeah, definitely stick around for that. All right, uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow with a new video. Goodbye.